true freshman, still trying to learn how to navigate the waters of college basketball and also trying to get his Hoyas off the schneid. This is an important game for the locals. Marquette, they've lost two consecutive games, but they've had a really good year. They don't want to stub their toe here against Georgetown. Marquette, postseason dreams, trying to get back to that uh, winning way. Last time out, Marquette lost at Butler. That was on Saturday. Golden Eagles, first shot of the game. Justin Lewis, a three ball up and in. Such a great start at home. You talked about it, lost their last game, but lost three of their last four. And this is a team that just, they haven't rebounded the way they're supposed to. They also haven't shot the ball well. Mohina, Mohammed, interior pass. And Wilson had it blocked away. Good interior defense to save the goal by Marquette. Now well, Patrick Ewing trying to figure out any kind of way to get his team a conference win. 0 and 13 in Big East play. Remember, this is a Georgetown team that last year won the Big East tournament. A lot of names have changed, and this year has been a totally different animal. And it really didn't get off to a bad start, Eric. They were six and four to start the season, but you know you, you lose 14 straight, and it's just hard to continue to stay motivated and hungry. Daryl Morsell is fouled, so an offensive foul on Morsell. There's Shaka Smart now in his first year at Marquette, native of Wisconsin, just uh, across the way. He is from Madison, but he feels at home in Milwaukee, doing a great job. And really, uh, same kind of start, eight and six, but then they went the other way, seven game win streak. But one and three in their last four, but at least this team has tasted what it's like to win Marquette with so many new faces impressive oh, Holloway got inside got bopped on the head and he'll have free throws trying to get his game started Colin Holloway to the free throw line And this happens, you know Daryl Morcell understands their last three losses, they're giving up 40% from three. So that's your coach is telling you, listen, run guys off that three-point line. You got to trust the guys behind you. They're just late stepping up with the help defense on the backside. Friendly roll for Colin Holloway, the sophomore from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Donnie, I love watching this kid play. I've seen him play a ton over the last couple of years. He may be the most ambidextrous player in the entire country. He does so many wonderful things and looks so fluid with his offhand, which is his left, which is maybe just as good as his right. Hey, come on, Eric. You do a lot of NBA games. We call that amphibious. <laughs> <laughs> One and done. Kolek misses the jumper. Here comes Muhammad. This is where I think they just, they can be good, Georgetown. They have enough outside scores, as you see there, but they space the floor really well. They just have to be more consistent with it. Donald Carey hits a three. Georgetown wants to get a win just for him. He's the captain. Needs to taste victory in Biggie's play. Catch and shoot for Cell. A little bit long. Holloway. Super aggressive offensive player. One and done. Tried to get some contact there and, and jumped a little bit too late. Lewis hit a three a moment ago. This one too strong. Morcell. <laughs> and we're tied at five. These two teams spent earlier in the season. In D.C., 10-point win for Marquette with the left hand, Dante Harris. And that's really been an issue in their last three losses. We talked about it. They're, they've lost three of the last four. Guarding the perimeter, guarding that three-point line, letting guys go by him. This can't happen, especially at home. Lewis misses it. Stop Johnny on the spot as well. The last two field goals by the transfer from Oklahoma, Kirk Quet. Refreshing score here in Milwaukee. Seven up. Harris looking for room. Prosper. Prosper with a left hand. Omax 
Prince Prosper, one of those guys who's flies under the radar a little bit, but you see his talent there with the left hand, the nice soft finish. One of those guys that can continue to handle the ball and get downhill. Wilson battling for a rebound is called for the foul. We'll have our first substitution, Wilson, who starts but frequently doesn't play the lion's share of the game. He will leave. Marquette makes change as well. They bring in Greg Elliott. Well, he's the junior shooter from Detroit, having a real good year shooting the ball. 44% from behind the three-point arc. Yeah, Shaka Smart, every time you talk to him, that's who he talks about. Greg Elliott. Score the goal with the foul. It's Prosper once again. Now you see a little bit of the issues that Georgetown has offensively. Okay, can spread you out, but as soon as they press, Eric, they just stop. And now you have numbers if you're Marquette. They've noticed that. They've recognized it. That's why we've seen so many buckets at the rim already. With 11 points, Marquette really playing a nice pace, controlling the tempo, getting downhill. Prosper has the last five for Marquette. Also into the game for the Golden Eagles, Oso Igadaro, Richard freshman from Phoenix, Arizona. For Georgetown, Timothy Igoefe is in the game, replacing Malcolm Wilson. Loose on the floor. Up and in, Mohammed just wanted it more. Yeah, those are the plays that they lacked during this losing streak. Streak, as they call them in college, 50-50 balls. You got to win those, especially on the road. Clean block by Igoefe. Mohammed whirling Dervish. They have lost track of where he was. <laughs> You see how much they want it, though. They're playing so hard. Sometimes you, you get a little out of control, overzealous. Here's Elliott. And now Marquette will set up shop in the half court. And the key for Marquette is to not get caught up into that type of game that Georgetown wants to play. Got to stay under control. All about size, getting downhill, making those extra effort plays here. Quef Love at the rim. <laughs> this is the game in its purest form. Bring it on. The passion lasts a lifetime. And this place is buzzing now. The rivalry stay true. And the power of the upset is real. This is the stuff that legends are built on. Xavier Yukon, followed by Iowa, Ohio State. Saturday on Fox. The loyal order. Let your queries be known. Yeah, hi. Instead of letting passengers wrap their arms around us, can we put little handles on our jackets? Deny. Can you imagine? I want a new nickname. Can you guys start calling me Snake? No, Brian. Denied. How about we all get close to see if we can save with America's number one motorcycle insurer? Approved. Cool. Hey, if Brian's not going to be Snake, can I be Snake? No. no. At Fisher Investments, our clients know we have their backs. How do your clients know that? Because as a fiduciary, it's our responsibility to always put clients first. So you do it because you have to? No, we do it because it's the right thing to do. We help clients enjoy a comfortable retirement. Sounds like a big responsibility. One that we don't take lightly. It's why our fees are structured so we do better when our clients do better. Fisher Investments is clearly different. We welcome you to Manhattan and the Big East Tournament. Here at the Garden, decibel levels will be high. This is going to be a good one, folks. Two Big East powers. you got to be strong. We'll do it. The Musketeers. Oh, how about that? And the jam. Ah. Woo. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just locked in a great refinancing rate for my student loans with Credible.com. Woo! I'm the Credible. It's either Credible or it's not. A yeah, good start for the locals. Marquette leading Georgetown by a score of 12 tonight. 15-14 remaining here in our first half. Donnie, what about your keys to the game? 
Yeah, I think they're pretty simple for deep for Georgetown. It's you know, you have to have that defensive pressure early There have been some games that they've lost and they've put on that full court press late a little bit too late and run out of time Compete every play so hard when you've lost 13 14 in a row But you have to compete on the other side gang rebound We talked about it and their last three losses. They've been out rebounded Marquette 12 a game Defend the three we touched on it a little bit team shooting 40% you know, listen, if you're giving up 40, you better be shooting it well. But they're only shooting 32% or 32.5, somewhere in there, Eric. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple for Shaka's team. And he says the same thing. We need four guys going to the glass. We can't have one. You know, we got to win the battle on the glass at home. Marquette at home, 10 and 3. Georgetown on the road, looking for their first win. And it, it puts more pressure on the team that's at home. You know, you see Patrick Ewing smiling there. But, it, you know, they're probably more loose because, look, it, it, it can't get much worse. And if you're Marquette, you're trying to ascend. You're trying to catch who's in front of you, and you have a great opportunity to get the postseason play. You don't want to drop one to a team that doesn't have a conference win. A lot of pressure on Marquette tonight. Cam Jones has checked in for the first time for Marquette. Right. This is Carey, a little bit too strong. Offensive rebound, Ego Efe. Long one, right. He needs one to go down. His last game, a couple of days ago at Creighton, he was 0 for 8 for the field. Better shooter than that. Yeah, and we've seen him go 8 for 10 in game oh, yeah. season. I mean, he, he can really get hot, Eric. You know that. But it's Easter Famine. You're right with Caden Rice. Offensive rebound to Gattaro. Elbow jumper missed everything by Morzell. Yeah, a little upset there. Hangs his head. Body language is huge when you're a leader. You, you, even when you miss shots, you got to continue to keep your head up. Elliott to steal. Trying to set up the alley oop to prosper. The pass is too strong. And, and that's a situation, Eric, where you need to make the defense commit. You, you know, you can't make your mind up, and Elliott did that. He already had his mind made up. He was throwing an alley-oop, trying to get a little highlight play, get the crowd into it, I understand. But in transition, you have to make the defense commit. If they come to you, then you pass it. If they back off, you got to be able to lay that ball in. Pressure in the backcourt. Here's Rice. Offensive rebound. Igoelbe has been active. Yeah, that's a, a terrific offensive rebound, and that's a no-no for a Shaka Smart coach team. He's going to let his guys hear about that. How to find the body. Ozo Iguodaro answers. I guess that's how you shoot 72% from the field of the year. <laughs> and it's awesome when he gets it going because his teammates understand, look, we need you. you know, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys on offense. Get him going. Feed him the ball. Give it to him in a sweet spot like you saw there. I love guys who know their role, and Iguodaro does. Had shot three all season long. Has now made 60 out of 82 shots because he shoots nothing but shots in the paint. Shot clock down to three. Carey has to fire. Didn't get it off in time. And, and, and that's a situation where Marquette will say good defense. Georgetown will probably say that's bad offense, but this is tremendous work. Talked about it earlier. 50-50 balls can't happen if you're Marquette. Got to put a body on him, even if he's not your guy. And at the other end, just drop it off. You know the help's coming. Give it to your big where he can catch it. Dante Harris leaves for the first time for Georgetown. He's replaced by the freshman Tyler Beard. Beard's been impressed. First-year player from Chicago. Kolek. Lewis. Off the bounce. A little bit short. Run down by Jones. Extra possession for Marquette. And they cash in a Kolek three. And Kolek's one of those guys who's a gym rat. You talk to Shaka Smart. Loves to be in the gym. Stay in there. He's got to tell him to get out of here and go get some rest. He's also at times had to tell him, shoot the ball. Please shoot the ball more. And Kolek said, listen, I will. Let me play my game. I think that's interesting. And you know, you don't have to tell a lot of guys to shoot it more than once. <laughs> Igo Efe, his second hammer of the first half. 
Yeah, that interior has really been an issue for Marquette trying to find bodies. Cam Jones, the freshman's three, too strong. Yeah, ball movement. Again, just a, a loose ball. You catch it, you find the right guy, call it just right place, right time. Great touch, more of a distributor. And then at the other end, Igoefe just right place, right time. And really has some pressure put on him when Kudus Wahab transferred to Maryland. They, they expected him to be back at Georgetown. One time, Patrick Ewing said in the Big East tournament last year that Wahab would be the best big man in America. Yep. He just didn't realize it would be for another team. <laughs> so it's put a lot of a lot of pressure on Amigo Efe. Stevie Mitchell had just checked into the game. He picks up a blocking foul. It'll be Georgetown ball when we come back to Milwaukee. <laughs> Before you go there, or fist bump there, or, oh, I can't wait to go there, or reunite there, start here. Walgreens makes it easy to stay protected wherever you go. Schedule your free COVID-19 booster today. I have type 2 diabetes. I've pricked my finger too many times. My A1C was still over nine. Then I got the Dexcom G6. I just glance at my phone and there's my glucose number. No finger sticks, none. Yes. Holy cow. My diabetes is no longer a mystery. My A1C's dropped over two points to 7.2. That's a huge victory. I feel like I'm calling the shots, not my diabetes. Welcome to Allstate. Here, safe driving saves more than just your cargo. Safe driving saves you 40% with DriveWise. Click or call for a quote today. Designed specifically for pet parents, the Bissell Crosswave X7 Cordless Pet Pro Multi-Surface Cleaner vacuums and washes at the same time. It freshens area rugs and tackles tough, stuck-on messes in turbo pet mode. Powerfully cleaning sealed hard floors. No surprise, it's our best crossway for homes with pets. And other mess makers, too. Whatever stage of pet parenthood you're in, Bissell helps you live in the moment, not the mess. My name is Lolly, and I'm a franchisee with Domino's. I started working part-time at 17 and worked my way up to owning and operating two stores by 27. 95% of our franchisees started out as delivery drivers or store employees, and you could too. Apply to your local Domino's today. Thursday night on FS1. Can you believe this? Johnny Juzang leads 13th ranked UCLA against Washington State. Get out of here! Thursday at 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific on FS1. Yeah, Sunday is the most iconic day in all of motorsports, the Daytona 500. The Great American Race tips off the 2022 NASCAR season at 2.30 Eastern, 11.30 Pacific, only on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Look at that. Oh, still waters in Daytona, but that's going to change. A lot of excitement. Daytona 500, a big deal. You know, Donnie Marshall, a big deal. My partner tonight, I'm Eric Collins. It's a four-point ball game. 11.53 remaining in our first half. Patrick Ewings, Georgetown Hoyas, trying to end a nasty 14-game losing streak. Playing well so far. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Marquette Eagle team, Golden Eagle team, that is hungry to get back in the win column after losing two consecutive games. Beard, wrap around pass, bomb, carry, straight on look, Holloway. Yeah, he can hit that shot. Good stroke, yeah. Colin Holloway. And really did a nice job with the dribble. I thought the late came a little, the pass came a little late from carry. Didn't need to dribble, could have swung it. Holloway really made that shot happen himself. Lewis dribbling into traffic, lost the ball. Igoefe rips it away. Oh, I've been impressed with Igoefe here in this first half. Hey, this is the passion that Patrick Ewing has been looking for his team. Now, they've played, they've shown glimpses 
just have to be consistent. Caden Rice needed that. That's his first made shot in two games. Great outside shooter. Had a whole bunch of nothing against Creighton on Monday. Catch and shoot Cam Jones. No. Georgetown the lead in the ball. Don't need a knockout punch. Sometimes when you haven't been in these situations, you look for that knockout punch. It's too early. Just play your game. See, just not a good shot there, Eric. You know, there's a guy running at you. Someone you're probably quicker than. That was Lewis coming out. Always got to put that on the ground and go by him. Kickball on Holloway. And Holloway really makes this happen. I thought that dribble was unnecessary. There's the late closeout, but the nice little shot fake by Holloway to create some space. And then the extra pass. Now, this Georgetown team will never be accused of being selfish. They're, they're just not. They're just things haven't gone their way. Finding some consistency. Trying to get guys healthy and stay healthy. Changes for Georgetown. Igo Efe and Carey both leave. Mohamed Wilson back in. This is Elliott. That's a tough chance. He had to leave his feet to make that catch. Full head of steam, Beard. And the alley oop, my goodness. George Mirasan couldn't have made that play. <laughs> I'm going to go on a limb and say that ball slipped out of his hand. I I I'm hoping. Kolek darts inside. Extra pass. That's just terrific ball movement. We're used to seeing around the perimeter guys trying to play catch up, but that defense collapses when Kolek gets down inside, has the wherewithal to kick that ball out, and just Georgetown can't recover. Mohammed, back the inside, missed the layup. Foul. And that, that's just a, a young player's mistake there. You have ability, go around, maybe use your spin, but at the other end, another young player. Great look here. Into the teeth of the defense. You attract three, kick it. Now you got numbers on the perimeter, and they find the right guy. Unselfish play. Now that's the that's the other number that stands out when you look at their last three losses from Marquette. I mean, it, this is a team from 29 assists, 9.6 assists a game in their losses, 16 and a half there when they're winning. Greg Elliott clearly is feeling his oats right now. He's made a pair of threes. Back in a moment. Barbie really wants this dream house, and Barbie found out about it from Rocket Homes. She did? Well, it's a super competitive market. Everyone wants to buy the dream house. Better off for Betty, cash off for Carl. Oh no. Don't worry, she has a verified approval that lets sellers know she's backed by Rocket Mortgage. So Barbie wins. But we need a house. You could buy Castle Gray School. <laughs> Find and finance your dream house with Rocket Homes and Rocket Mortgage. Welcome back everyone. A lot of excitement in the building. The Marquette Golden Eagles, a four point lead. Trying to get to 17 and 9 on the year, 9 and 6 in Big East play. Right now, riding the hot hand of Greg Elliott. Yeah, listen, already 12, uh, 12 threes have been attempted by Marquette. That slow rotation, but a beautiful release, unselfish. He loves those short corner, that three ball corner pocket is where he's made a career, Greg Elliott, and really a lightning rod for what these guys do, especially when he's. Making threes. A few Mohammed misses, but an offensive rebound. Wilson half hook gently falls through. Georgetown doing a good job on the offensive glass, both Igwefe and now Wilson. Look at the constant movement. Georgetown doing a great job of catching up, trying to keep guys in front. Locked away by Wilson. On both ends, he's doing it. Mohamed locked away by Lewis. Ball stayed in bounds somehow. Rice. Mohamed is fouled and will go to the line. 
athletic play of both ends of the floor. And you see some of the plays that Georgetown's making here. This is a terrific drive. Probably got a little, got a little Elliott's face there, but the follow by Lewis. Georgetown continues to play hard. You know, I know a lot of people, it's just the nature of the beast. How many wins do you have versus how many losses? And that basically tells people how good you are or how good you aren't. And you really have to dig deeper in college basketball and watch how these players are responding. Watch how hard they're continuing to play. These guys have not given up on Patrick Ewing. I've been reading a lot, and I'm sure you have too, Eric. And people say, ah, they got to make a change at Georgetown. Well, listen, your kids might not be winning, school's not winning, but the players have not given up on Patrick Ewing. And just a reminder, to be totally fair, this is a Georgetown team that won four consecutive games last year in the Big East tournament and went to the NCAA tournament. So clearly, things have worked in the fairly recent past for Patrick Ewing. I love that he's smiling. I, I really do. I, I that takes so much pressure off of your players for really a, a normally a stoic guy in Ewing to see him smiling and just enjoying life and, and life in college basketball. It, that speaks volumes and it says a lot to his players about let's be loose, let's play, let's just go play basketball. That's what we're here to do. Cam Jones into the game, figures he can bounce to Quet. This is Colin back to Jones. Lefty three. Cam Jones. Now, the, the one thing that you have to be able to do as a good defensive team and a good defender individual, you got to anticipate a little bit. You know where that ball's going. You know where you would pass it if you were on the other side of it. And Georgetown, last couple of plays, just been a, a step slower, too, trying to anticipate that next swing pass. Leaving Marquette with some open threes. Carey had his shot deflected on the way up. Marquette the lead in the ball. Up by three. Jones. Get can stroke it 38% from behind the arc. Yeah, he's tough. Has a ton of confidence. Knows what is. You talked about it earlier. Guys knowing what their roles are. Well, Marquette, I don't know if there's... A, a better team in the country, especially being put together as quickly that every guy knows his role. Shot clock down to six. Georgetown in trouble. Harris squeezes it to Wilson. Pack batted away. Marquette has it. This is when you'd like to see a Georgetown timeout. Get your composure back. Patrick Ewing letting guys play. And again, there, there's some growing pains. you got to figure out how to play through these hard times. And it looks like that's what he's allowing them to do. Boys need a bucket. 8 0 run for Marquette. Shot clock down to four. Welcome to Allstate. Here, safe driving saves more than just your cargo. Safe driving saves you 40% with DriveWise. The safer you drive, the more you save with Allstate. Click or call for a quote today. In sports, metrics are everything. I'm Apollo Ono. Miles, times, heart rate are vital to helping you meet your goals. This is why I use Personal Capital's free tools. You can use them to monitor your total net worth, your retirement plan, and your budget. Get a holistic look at all of your accounts and find financial confidence. Start today. Download the free app or go to personalcapital.com. What about this guy? 
This guy's been through a lot. Dogs bring out the good in us. Pedigree brings out the good in them. Feed the good. 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. One scoop, one glass. Comprehensive and convenient daily nutrition made for just about everybody. AG1 by Athletic Greens. Before you go there, or this bump there, or, oh, I can't wait to go there, or reunite there. Start here. Walgreens makes it easy to stay protected wherever you go. Schedule your free COVID-19 booster today. Marquette cooking with gas. They lead Georgetown 34-23. Time now for some smart thoughts. Let's go in the huddle. We make a mess. When we make a mess, we got to punish and rebound. Okay, five guys. We fix it out of the press. They're trying to be super aggressive. We're making a miss the first time. Then we got to punish and we got to come up with the ball. Okay? Then in transition, you guys see we're getting good stuff. Keep attacking and sharing the ball. Good work. Yeah, I love that. I, I had a conversation earlier this season with Shaka Smart. We talked about, you know, team players sometimes think you finish a possession when you force your opponent to take a bad shot. But the possession is only over when you secure that rebound defensively. And you heard him say that a little bit there. Five guys rebounding on the glass. We're stopping them to get it back. You've got to make sure to finish these things off. You have to go get that rebound. And he's right. Transition. Keep going downhill. Gershaw made a couple of changes. Holloway, Wilson out. Jalen Billingsley and Timothy Iguefe in. Billingsley, the freshman from Cleveland, Ohio. Iguefe, a little bit short. Rebounded in traffic by Crest. Poked away. And Billingsley just ran into the official. Ran into Lamar Simpson. And then gave him a little stare down. Well, Lamar a little uh, slow-footed. <laughs> we gotta, I got to talk to him about Didn't that footwork. Didn't used to be. Didn't used to be. We got to get him in the, uh, get him some footwork drills. Move those feet. Marquette leads by 11. Jones has made three straight three-pointers. He's got the ball. He has got Donald Carey's attention. Shot clock at four. Great catch by Quet. Can't hit that one. Now this is where Georgetown should be pushing, though. Look, there's a, a late clock. The shooter was in the far corner. That's when you got to run that thing down their throat. Try to get to the rim. The half-court offense really hasn't been working for Georgetown. Dante Harris, a big three. You're right, confidence-wise, score-wise, huge three. Jones, his fourth first half three ball. You just can't gamble, because if you don't get it, and a guy's on fire, that's what happens. You gotta stay home, stay in front of the guy, go for the steal, you get burned. Jones came into the game averaging 7.2 points per game. He has got 12. He's taken seven shots, all threes, and he's hit four of them. Freshman from Memphis, Tennessee. And that last one was probably the easiest. <laughs> Harris just went flying by him. And that is, that's just too easy for a guy who's on fire. For a freshman to shoot 38% of on their three-pointers in bulk. This guy shoots a lot of threes. It's impressive. That means he's got something there to work with. And it also means his coach understands what he needs as a player. You know, Shaka Smart has said, I'm putting these guys in a position to succeed for themselves as, as well as for the team. Loose on the floor, picked up by Prosper back into the game. Lewis to Jones, back to Lewis. And Justin Lewis got the benefit of the doubt. They call the foul on Ego Efe. Hey, 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 hey. 
and I think when you see a guy like Cam Jones shooting the ball, what makes me believe he's a good player is a play like that where he gets it and gives it right back up. And that tells me more about him and who he has, is as a teammate than him making three or four three-pointers because what happens with young guys is they continue to try to think that they have the hot hand and they'll start to take bad shots. But to understand I'm drawing some defense, let me find the teammate, that really tells me the story about what kind of player he is, Cam Jones. Colin Holloway comes back in for Georgetown. He replaces Igoefe. And Goefe leaves. He's the only Georgetown Hoya with more than one personal foul. He's got two. One out of two for Lewis. And now Lewis will leave the game. He's replaced by David Joplin. First time we've seen Joplin in our ball game. Freshman from Brookfield, Wisconsin. <laughs> Marquette's done a good job offensively in this game without their leading score being a big part of it. Lewis, who averages 17, only has four. Hit a three to begin the game with that free throw just a moment ago. Billingsley. Holloway relocates. Extra pass into the corner. And that's going to be a shot clock violation. Oh, they reset the shot clock somehow. And the officials noticed that I think this is going to be Marquette ball. Yeah, really nice job. We talked about it earlier. Anticipation. Georgetown didn't do it, and that's exactly what Marquette's doing at the other end. And we have an official timeout on the floor. We'll get this straightened out. 3.34 remaining in our first half. If you're over 50, imagine you could turn back the clock on your stiff, achy joints 10, even 20 years. Imagine you could do this without products that just temporarily hide the symptoms and may have side effects. Imagine no more. Get your complimentary sample of InstaFlex Advanced just by texting SMILE to 42424. InstaFlex Advanced is different because it targets the root cause of joint soreness and stiffness. It doesn't just cover up symptoms. Instead, it bathes your joints in its unique combination of five key natural ingredients found in no other product. Key ingredients backed by five clinical studies. InstaFlex Advanced is so powerful, you could have better knees in just one week. Maybe that's why it's number one at GNC. But you can only get your complimentary sample by texting SMILE to 42424. Plus, text now and we'll include a tube of InstaFlex pain cream with its exclusive oxygenated oil for fast-acting relief from the pain of arthritis, back aches, and sore muscles absolutely free. Text S-M-I-L-E to 42424. Real cowboys get customized car insurance with Liberty Mutual, so we only pay for what we need. Hey, Tex, can someone else get the turn? Yeah, hang on, I'm back breaking on record. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. This year, make good on your resolution to join a community that knows no bounds. Gather with more friends experiencing places unknown. And become part of a family that knows the best adventures are the ones we share. Embrace each day, knowing that no matter where you go, it'll be one you never forget. Shop and buy online with Jeep eShop. Where right now, get 0% financing for 72 months on select 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee models. Instead of putting your vibe in words, we're putting it in a store. Introducing Stitch Fix Freestyle, your personalized store. Take your style quiz at stitchfix.com. Welcome back, everyone. 334 remaining in our first half. The officials getting together and uh, taking apart what we just saw. Shot clock winding down just a moment ago, Donnie. Yeah, I think just a little uh, miscommunication or misunderstanding. When that ball gets poked away, I, 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 the, the score table thinks that this is possession for Marquette, and that's why the shot clock resets to 30. And that should have been a violation. The ruling was no possession for Marquette. Uh, indeed, Igadaro did knock it away, but he never possessed the ball, so Marquette never had it. Georgetown had the clock, shot clock expire, so it's Marquette basketball on the turnover. That's just the second turnover for Georgetown. Problem for Georgetown has been the defense. They have allowed Marquette to make eight three-pointers, eight out of 17. Marquette averages eight three-pointers per game. They've already got that number with three and a half minutes remaining in our first half. 
and they compound their problems by shooting 33 percent. You know, a lot of forced shots, a couple of air balls, late shot clock, under duress. Stevie Mitchell, the freshman from Reading, Pennsylvania, is fouled. Uh, off the top of your head, Donnie Marshall, can you think of a great Big East player from Reading, Pennsylvania? Marshall? Oops, sorry, I didn't let you finish. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, only reason I, obviously, my brother, you know, is Danielle, but but the other thing is, every time Marquette plays, he texts me and says, and I'm like, yes, I know, Stevie Mitchell, I get it. Okay, enough. Uh, okay, I get it. You know where you're from. <laughs> is it Rip from there too, Rip Hamilton? Coatesville. Coatesville, you're right. Okay. Yeah. But, so then I get, the next text is, he tells me, he, he says something, he tells me to shut up. That, that's the next text I get from Danielle when I say, I know, everyone knows where you're from. We got it. <laughs> and, and Stevie Mitchell's pops is, is a very good friend of Danielle. Ah, okay. Yeah. So that's Connection there. Reason. There is. Here's Muhammad. Tough turnaround along that baseline. You know, that's what I mean, Eric. It's just, you know, you, you, when you can just kind of step back, you spin, and then you fall away, the degree of difficulty is, is maxing out for Georgetown in the shot selection. Cam Jones is nice. That's his first two-point field goal. 14 points for the freshman. Yeah, and he's showing us he's not one-dimensional. We know he can shoot the ball from long range. You see that in the numbers. It's right in front of us, but he also allows himself to, to be a complete player by putting the ball on the floor, set up by the three. That's what captains do. Donald Carey knew his team needed a bucket. Three-pointer by Carey makes it a 15-point game. Long one. Hey! 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 Look at Ken Jones. Five three-pointers. I love it when young kids find their way and play with confidence. Allowed to play because they're playing for a guy like Shaka Smart. He's allowing his guys to play. Here comes Marquette in transition. Come on! Cam Jones missed everything. That ball must have slipped out of his hand. Yeah, yeah you see him wiping his shorts there. Even if it didn't, that's the right play afterwards. Wipe, wipe your hands on your shorts. Look at that. I mean, that, that's from Racine. <laughs> Wow. So Cam Jones off the bench, 17 points in 11 minutes. And yeah, oh yeah, you missed a shot, you gotta wipe your shorts. Yeah, My hand is way too wet right now. Yeah, that's a veteran move right there. That's a veteran move by a young player. Yeah, rub them on the shorts. Even if your hand, even if it didn't slip. So Jones, Man. Mitchell out, Prosper back in. Joplin also back in. Carey, can't make it two in a row. One and done, rebounded. Morcell, Kolek, set the offense on the wing. Justin Lewis. Offensive rebound, Morcell to Elliott. And a theme here against Creighton in the first half of that, their last game, Georgetown, allowed a 14-2 run by Creighton. And you can see the theme that happens. It, things start to get out of control, and it's hard to wrangle those runs back in. Dante Harris, seven points in 15 minutes. Well, seven points for Harris leads Georgetown in our first half. Justin Lewis, second three-pointer for Lewis. And Georgetown didn't want to, but they've got to call a timeout. There's 39 seconds remaining in our first half, and things are getting out of hand. The loyal orders of riders. Riders, let your queries be known. Yeah, hi. Instead of letting passengers wrap their arms around us, can we put little handles on our jackets? Deny. Can you imagine? I want a new nickname. Can you guys start calling me Snake? No, Brian. Denied. How about we all get close to see if we can save with America's number one motorcycle insurer? Approved. Cool. Hey, if Brian's not going to be Snake, can I be Snake? No. no. Welcome back, everyone. 48 31 is our score. Mark Kenna, Papa Georgetown, coming up with the deep halftime report. Rob Stone, Steve Lavin, Casey Jacobson. They look ahead to tomorrow's Washington State UCLA matchup and debate who's more likely to make the final four Arizona or UCLA? That's all coming up at the half.
Experts on making a Final Four would be that man, Patrick Ewing. Well, the whole ball of wax as a player in 1984. Also, Shaka Smart. He went to the Final Four as a yeah. very young head coach. 2011, leading VCU. Final 39.9 of our first half. Marquette shot a good ball. They've made 10 three-pointers already. And 14 assists. And that, that's telling you a little bit of how focused in they are and how unselfish this team is. Mohamed. Lewis forced that miss. Shot clocks off. Golden Eagles a home for the final shot. Worst case scenario, they're thinking being up 17 at intermission. Maybe not. Holloway. And that'll do it for our first half of play. Marquette, a little bit of sluggishness out of the gate, but then they figured it out in large part because of Cam Jones, the freshman Jones, with 17 points in 11 minutes. How about that? He had 17. With Donnie Marshall, I'm Eric Collins. Steady performance by virtually everyone. Shaka Smart threw on the floor. Offense wasn't an issue at all. Marquette shoots 51%. And defensively, they got the job done. They hold Georgetown to 34% shooting. Georgetown starts with the basketball. I really love, Eric, how they moved the basketball as well. You know, they shared it. We heard that in a couple of huddles by Shaka Smart all season, but especially in this game, 14 assists in that first half. Like they averaged just over 16, so they're ahead of schedule. Business as usual, though, at Fiserv playing that team basketball. Carey. One and done, rebounded by Lewis. Mohammed. Knocks the ball away, but it finds Cullen. And, and again, Eric, you pointed out in the first half, late clock, Georgetown struggling to find the right shot. You know, off the wrong foot, falling away to your left is not what you want. Well, it sets up quick. Wow. Kirk now has three dunks in the game. It's four for four shooting, eight points in 11 minutes. Great number there, nine different players have scored. Marquette, again, reiterating that ball movement, unselfish play. Patrick Ewing trying to find some offense. He has Caden Rice in the game. Rice didn't start the game, but he starts the second half. So Patrick Ewing without one of his true seven-footers. Normally he likes to have either Wilson, Matumbo, or Iguefe on the floor, but no true center in the game right now for Georgetown. A little small ball, and, and you want to see if Kate Rice can get hot. Cole, he's hot. Lefty three-pointer, Tyler Kolek. Nice job sneaking behind the defense there. He drove baseline and kicked it out, and Georgetown forgot about him. Slid over to that corner, snuck behind the defense, knocking one down. Extra pass to Harris. Good team basketball. Oh, that needed to go down. That was a... Uh, Basketball played properly. First down, just couldn't hit the shot. Lewis using that good frame to score on top of right. Bully ball for the second year man from Baltimore. is the reversed, but he's fouled. Off to a nice start. Marquette. Draw a couple. Help coming late on the weak side to try to get in front of Quath. And that's what happens when you go small, like Georgetown is. And then there you see Kolek. Really a great look, though, from Lewis. Up top, over the... And again, the, 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 there has to be ball pressure. You know, Georgetown started this game aggressive, doing a great job jumping on the loose balls. But then once you start to play that score, it starts to beat you up. You get down 20 or so, now you start to 
Legs start to slow down a little bit, but you got to play little games within the game, Eric. You know, four-minute, three-minute games and try to win those if you're Georgetown right now. Holloway makes a pair. Georgetown's made a change. They take Rice out and replace him with Beard. The ball is knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Carey. So it's Marquette ball. Marquette defeated Georgetown in D.C. back on January 7th, 92 to 64. That score is not really indicative of how the game was played. It was close at the half. Marcel misses with the left hand. Ball falls right into the lap of Justin Lewis. When you're as good as Justin Lewis is, you don't need that much of an opportunity. <laughs> Now look, Georgetown, so we used to have a thing, we used to have 10 rounds, you know, four minute rounds, try to win each round or win as many rounds as you can right now. Georgetown has to tell themselves that. Try to win a round, whatever that might be for you. For us, it was four minutes. Holloway's got the last five for Georgetown. Colin. Pass knocked away. Colin picks it up. Lewis. Wow. Year, Donnie. That is a totally new wrinkle. Yeah, that nice, that nice soft little floater. To me, that is a that's a next level move, meaning NBA type move for a guy that size with that length. Look at Prosper go. Lewis. Something easy for Georgetown, which has been rare. Well, Georgetown right now has to continue to pursue the basketball. It, uh, a lot of their defense this half so far has been, we hope you miss defense, and you can't have that. Kolek now two for four, shooting the basketball. Six points, nine assists for Kolek. Nice box out by Donald Carey at the other end. Hits the top of the shot clock, and it'll be Marquette ball. Yeah, Justin Lewis. You're right, under control, little floater. And then Carey at the other end, the leader still continuing to play for his Hoyas. This weekend, not all fighters fight in a ring. This is a heavyweight fight. The best anglers in the world tackle Freshwater's hardest fighter. Yeah! The Bassmaster Elite Series is live on Harris Chain of Lakes, Saturday and Sunday morning on FS1. Before you go there, or fist bump there, or, oh, I can't wait to go there. Or reunite there. Start here. Walgreens makes it easy to stay protected wherever you go. Schedule your free COVID-19 booster today. One shake and cats come running. Their matches. So be careful what you shake. Run away! Temptations cat treats. All it takes is a shake. <laughs> Tom and Jennifer are walking to a neighbor's house for dinner. Bob and Sarah received a winter storm warning from Climb and decided to stay home. Climb offers a 24-hour precipitation forecast map, a 14-day hourly forecast, and many more features. Climb, precise weather, precisely for you. Madison Square Garden. The Big East Championship. Charles here of the Garden. The Hoyers are the champions. Welcome to the Garden. <laughs> Step back. champion Roman Reigns goes face to face with Goldberg ahead of their title match at Elimination Chamber. Plus Shinsuke Nakamura defends his Intercontinental title against Sami Zayn. It's an all new Friday Night Smackdown. Live at 8 Eastern, 7 Central on Fox. Is there a doctor in the house? You betcha. 
Doc Rivers, one of the all-time greats in the history of Marquette basketball. He's in town. Of course, the head man with the Philadelphia 76. Ooh, that's Bo Ellis. Won a national championship in 1977. Doc Rivers still a huge part of Marquette basketball. And with an off day in Milwaukee, why not go watch your alma mater play? Doc played three years early 80s for Hank Raymonds and uh, did good work. Actually got the nickname before he came to Marquette. He's actually Glenn Rivers. But Rick Majerus was an assistant coach under Hank Raymonds. And he said, you know what? We're going to call you Doc because he was wearing a Dr. J t-shirt at Marquette's summer camp. That's how he got the nickname. And look at the number. Donnie, he was number 31 as a college yeah. player. Everyone in the NBA knows him as 25, which is what he wore with the Clippers, the Knicks, the Spurs, and the Hawks. Suns went on to wear it. Actually, Jeremiah played for Georgetown for a short time. Austin Rivers in the NBA, basically number 25 as well. Doc played for Marquette back when they were independent. Up yeah. and down, I love Greg Elliott's form. That's a pretty shot. It really is. It, it, he's one of those shooters that when the ball leaves his hand, you think it's going in every single time. He's just one of those guys. Some guys, you know, they shoot it. Maybe more scores and shooters, you're not so sure, but his looks beautiful coming off every every single time. Tigodoro blocks it away from Mohammed and a foul. They call the foul on Stevie Mitchell reaching in. Again, not a lot of offense being run there. And look, you people can criticize and say Georgetown's not running their stuff. I, I got to give the credit to Marquette. I just think they're standing guys up, taking away their strengths. Muhammad runs the floor. There you go. Muhammad had been one for nine shooting the basketball. He's now two for ten. Six points. But Donnie, he's earned the scholarship on the glass. He's got double figure rebounds. Ten of them. He's such a good player. You hate to see any team go winless in conference play, but especially when they have a guy as special as him. And look, there are other players on the Georgetown team that can really play. You feel for them, especially when you played this game at this level. You know exactly how hard it is, even when you're winning. Muhammad. Stevie Mitchell on the wing waits for his friend. Lewis, long two. Chicago born and raised, a little bit short with his pull-up. Interesting, talking to a, a scout last weekend in New York, an NBA scout, and said, you know, he asked, the main difference that I saw in the college game versus the NBA game, and I said, layups. A lot of layups being missed at this level. Nice backdoor cut, Stevie Mitchell, on the receiving end of a beautiful pass. Somewhere, Pete Carrill smiling. Family fitter, bath fitter, style fitter, bath fitter. You fitter, bath fitter. We install beautiful tubs that fit perfectly over your old one with no mess or demo. Get the bath you want in a day with quality that lasts a lifetime. It just fits. Bath Fitter. Bath Fitter is hiring installers. We're a growing company with a strong culture and great benefits. Find out where you fit at joinbathfitter.com. As a struggling actor, I need all the breaks that I can get. At Liberty Butcher Mode. Cut. Liberty Bibbity. Cut. We'll dub it. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. I made it through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through. Like a
You're going to need a smaller cabinet because now you can take all those supplements you're taking or not taking and replace them with this. AG1 by Athletic Greens brings 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics, and adaptogens together in one place. It might just be the most comprehensive and convenient nutritional regimen on the planet. Immunity supporting, recovery enhancing, digestion improving, energy lifting. Made to the strictest quality standards. Made New Zealand. Made for just about everybody. When you order carryout online from Domino's, we know it takes skill to get pizza from our store through a car door to your front door. So we're going to tip you for delivering your own pizza to yourself. Get a $3 tip just for ordering carryout online, only at Domino's. Less than one month from today, the Big East Tournament returns to Madison Square Garden. Last year, it was the Georgetown Hoyas who rode a magic carpet to the winning the old ball of wax. Who will get hot at the right time this year? We'll find out starting March 9th. Catch all the Big East Tournament action on FS1, Fox, and the Fox Sports app right now. According to Fox Sports' Mike DeCourcy, there are seven teams, Donnie Marshall, that are solidly in the NCAA Tournament. Yeah, that thing's always moving, though. Xavier lost a tough one tonight at home against St. John. So, look, there's always an upset in the Big East, especially when you're in major conference play. You, you just can't take any game for granted. So those are going to continue to go up and down. Creighton, they're tough at home. Seton Hall, I still think, is figuring out life without Bryce Aiken. Doing a pretty good job. And then my alma mater, they got a tough one tonight as well. So it's just uh, every single night, you got to be ready. Here is Shaka Smart's Marquette Golden Eagle resume through the first 25 games. Yeah, I mean, he really has done a wonderful job. I think it's it's only fair to remind people. I know coach wants to make excuses, but I don't think there's enough talk about the coaches who do a good job when they come in late. He took the job in June, really had two and a half players, Lewis Elliott. They get Doro. He played a little bit, but not much last season. And then he pieced the rest of the guys together, and here they are. 16 wins, middle of February. Stretch with the left hand. He has been perfect all evening long. He's made five shots in five attempts, 10 points in 15 minutes. Yeah, that's a part of their game that I think really can help them solidify who they are, their strength. If they can get Quet consistently touches inside that he can finish. We know Lewis is scoring there, but they need another big to step up. Donald Carey hits the three. Twelve minutes remaining. It was close in the first half of the first half. And then the Golden Eagles went on a run to close out the first half. And they've continued it here in the second half. Foul called on Marquette. So it's Georgetown basketball. We've got a chance to catch our breath. 66-43, our score. I have moderate to severe ulcerative colitis. So I'm taking Zaposia, a once daily pill. Because I won't let UC stop me from being me. Zaposia can help people with UC achieve and maintain remission. And it's the first and only S1P receptor modulator approved for UC. Don't take Symposia if you've had a heart attack, chest pain, stroke or mini stroke, heart failure in the last six months, irregular or abnormal heartbeat not corrected by a pacemaker, if you have untreated severe breathing problems during your sleep, or if you take medicines called MAOIs. Symposia may cause serious side effects, including infections that can be life-threatening and cause death, slow heart rate, liver or breathing problems, increased blood pressure, macular edema, and swelling and narrowing of the brain's blood vessels. Though unlikely, a risk of PML, a rare, serious, potentially fatal brain infection, cannot be ruled out. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, medications, or if you are or plan to become pregnant. If you can become pregnant, use birth control during treatment and for three months after you stop taking Symposia. Don't let UC stop you from doing you. Ask your doctor about Once Daily Symposia. Thursday night on FS1. Can you believe this? Johnny Tuesday leads 13th ranked UCLA against Washington State. Get out of here. Thursday at 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific on FS1. If Colleen's death has taught us anything, it's we have to live our best lives now. I'm going to be a really good mom. Ah! Hi, hi, Luke. You can now watch the new hit comedy, Pivoting, anytime. I'm going to quit medicine. I am getting back in shape. Excuse me, do you mind? Our friend just died, so we're having a little visit. That's my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oopsie. <laughs> 
Pivoting, Thursdays on Fox, or watch anytime on Fox Now or Hulu. 911, what's your emergency? This is Captain Owen Strand, requesting emergency assistance. Ah! Need a thrill? We can't do this without you. We need our captain back. Check out 911 Lone Star anytime. The hits just keep on coming. It's amazing what can happen when a family never stops fighting for each other. We never give up. 911 Lone Star, Mondays on Fox or anytime on Fox Now or Hulu. 11.51 remaining in our ball game. Marquette on top of Georgetown. Yeah, Big East play in full throat. Go around the league, Donnie Marshall. What uh, what are you thinking about? Well, uh, there, there you see Villanova. Providence still, I don't think the, the country is convinced of how good Providence is. I am, but Villanova went in there, and let me tell you, Colin Gillespie, folks. <laughs> I think he just created a lot of separation in terms of player of the year in the Big East. Career high, and, and really just... I call him gut punch Gillespie because that's what he does. Hits you right in the gut as soon as you think you have a shot. And then tonight, Xavier losing to St. John's. Julian Champagny finding his touch again, 27 points. But you know, a lot of movement can happen. I'm just, it, it, Villanova just always continues to impress. And you know, Colin Gillespie conti continues to be just a wonderful leader. Didn't have a scholarship offer coming out of high school. That's incredible. Really incredible. Some Division twos, yes, but they right scooped him up and wow, he's developed. Boy. Holloway. Everything put down. Rebounded in traffic by David Joplin. Who's back into the game. Joplin got four minutes of action in the first half. Joplin, Mitchell, Igadaro. Morcell and Cam Jones into the game. Keep Brian Cam Jones. He was electric in the first half. Blocked away. Two Hoyas got it. I think they're going to credit Wilson with the block. Carry the other way. Dante Harris. Welcome back. He's in double figures. Ten points for Harris. Harris has struggled. Last year's Big East Tournament most outstanding player. But he's going to have a huge year this year. That had happened thus far. But he is coming off a 23-point game against Craig a couple days ago, and now he's in double figures tonight. And, and 20 points is nothing in college basketball. And you can't hang your head, get a couple of stops, just put a couple of possessions together. Cam Jones, 17 points in the first half. Misses the shot, but gets his own rebound. But see what happens there, Eric. Georgetown players watch the ball go up, hit the rim, turn, and run. As soon as that ball goes up, you've got to find the body and go get the ball. Igadaro, who shoots close to 80% from the field, missed a half hook from four feet, and he's upset with himself. That's not an automatic shot, young man. I love the, uh, the expectation level, though. That's great. Oh, he's listening to Eric Collins in, in the tape room talk about what he's shooting. You set him up. He, that's on you, man. Caden Rice back into the game. One and done, rebounded by Igadaro. And on that shot, Caden Rice just steered it. You can just tell when he catches that and lets it go, he's not thinking about it. Now, talk about his struggles. He's steering that ball. Joplin misses a three. Donnie, when you got into a shooting funk when you were a college player, how'd you get out of it? Layups, get some steals, layups. You have to continue to do other things. If you start to prioritize making shots, you stress yourself out. You know, put too much pressure on one part of your game. Try to get to the foul line. Make some free throws. Try to get a couple layups, a couple stops. Muhammad hits a three. That's just the 15th made three-pointer of the year for the freshman Muhammad. Yeah, you got to put shooting in the back of your mind. You know, and again, that works for Aminu Muhammad as well. Just with that number you stated. Look, you just play the other parts, and when that shot comes, you'll make it. Take it. All right, if Georgetown gets a bucket here, I think that Marquette's going to feel it. Georgetown's on a 9-0 run. Bucket here and go a long way.
Loose. Mohammed, can he do two in a row? Marquette has it back. 8.20 remaining. Exclusively lefty from the jump. That's just too easy. Now you got to get back, guard the paint, feet in the paint, and then guard out. But no defensive help there. Harris puts it inside, and he scores with his left hand. Yeah, another one of those really special, special players. Hate to see them going through struggles. Clean rip by Muhammad. Stays with Georgetown. Muhammad saves it over to Harris. I love that Harris keeps attacking. He is afraid of no one in the Big East. Harris fouls on that free throws in a moment. Well, Cam Jones, you called it. Look at that. Doesn't even put the right hand on it. That's just too easy, Cam Jones. Designed specifically for pet parents, the Bissell Crosswave X7 Cordless Pet Pro Multi-Surface Cleaner vacuums and washes at the same time. It freshens area rugs and tackles tough, stuck-on messes in turbo pet mode, powerfully cleaning sealed hard floors. No surprise, it's our best crosswave for homes with pets and other mess makers, too. Whatever stage of pet parenthood you're in, Bissell helps you live in the moment, not the mess. I'm a fancy exercise bike newbie. Come on, come on. And I'm taking a detour. And if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, you could be working this out yourself. So get all state. Like a Yeah, dude, that doesn't look good. I know what to do. I'm going to castnetusa.com. I can apply minutes, and if approved, I can have the money as soon as the same business day. Go to castnetusa.com to apply for the money you need. In sports, metrics are everything. I'm Apollo Ono. Miles, times, heart rate are vital to helping you meet your goals. This is why I use Personal Capital's free tools. You can use them to monitor your total net worth, your retirement plan, and your budget. Get a holistic look at all of your accounts and find financial confidence. Start today. Download the free app or go to personalcapital.com. With Circle, your water is deliciously flavored at the turn of a dial with zero sugar and zero calories. And Circle has over 40 flavors, so your water can be as unique as you are. Try Circle at drinkcircle.com. Host Andy Marquette, Golden Eagles, leading Georgetown with 727 remaining. Time for more smart thoughts. Let's go in the huddle. One deflection to Domino, then another Domino, then another one. We got it. They're too comfortable right now down there. There it is. The end of end of a tie with two picks if you know dominoes that's exactly what he's talking about but it's all about it's all about deflections you now they have a guy named Jeff Farina Morelos he's a manager they call him the deflection board guy and he holds up a, the number of deflections they want to get 32 deflections a game and listen the, the, the deflections they measure defensive activity aggressiveness but deflections are also disruptive Eric they, they change the complexion of possessions and potentially games and I think I've always said this it should be an official that that paper that shock is looking at there should be a, a stat line that has deflections but they have their DBG their deflection board guy over there and everyone's yelling out the next number when they get one all right we've got free throws for Dante Harris was fouled before we took that last break he was fouled shooting a layup, so it's two free throws for Harris. Both sides have shot a good ball today at the line. Uh, Georgetown as a club, seven for seven. Marquette, limited time, but four for five at the line. Two out of two for Harris. 
Greg Elliott back into the game for Marquette along with Tyler Colet. This is Prosper over to Colet. And Colet finds the right man. It's Lewis who is open for a moment. And this is what Georgetown has done the last few games trying to play catch up. And, and sometimes they run out of time. They started a little bit earlier. That full court pressure. And you should be able to do this. Listen, maybe not 40 minutes, but you put it on, you take it off. I, I like that play by Patrick Hugh in the last seven minutes. Georgetown has gone deep into their bench. They have brought in Kobe Clark. Kobe Clark just took that last shot. Clark has not played much at all this entire season. But Patrick Ewing thinking that this is the time to give him some burn. Harris picks up the loose ball. 15-point game. This is still doable. That'll carry. Offensive rebound, Mohammed. He's been a force on the glass. Mohammed with 14 rebounds now. Final thought on Kobe Clark. Uh, this is just Kobe Clark's seventh game. He's only played 28 minutes all season long, but he's on the floor right now with six and a half remaining in our second half. And that's as much a, a message to the guys that he's playing that he's in for as it is for Clark. You know, it's Patrick Ewan saying, all right, you, you don't want to do what we're supposed to do because, listen, there's still... Georgetown style that they want to play Patrick Ewing still has a scouting report He still still tells them what the game plan in it is and if guys don't want to play that then he'll bring someone else in that will And, and Clark is right now a recipient of that Midway 13 point game message. 13 point game And here's that pressure They just have to keep it on that's been the issue, Eric. Marquette's just been so comfortable all game long. Georgetown has played large chunks of the second half without that seven-footer that they've been known for under Patrick Ewing. Rolling to the cup is Quentin, who continues his perfect night. Six for six, shooting the basketball. Get the whistle. They call the wow. foul on Caden Rice and uh, Mohammed's beside himself. Yeah, I'm with him. I thought he did a wonderful job digging that ball out. I just don't know how a, a guy like Mohammed could miss that shot that badly without being fouled. Well, <laughs> right. And Mohammed's a heck of a player. He's not going to miss that shot from that close that badly unless he got hit. Kolek has to call the timeout. And we will keep it here. 15-point game, 5-41 remaining. Marquette, after losing two consecutive games, trying to hold on against Georgetown. They've got a game against Creighton coming up on Sunday. That's the next game that they will play. And they feel like they owe Creighton. They lost against Creighton in Milwaukee. In double overtime, Donnie, back on January 1st, the rematch is coming up on Sunday. I'll finish off with Butler, DePaul, and St. John's to close out their conference schedule. And those last three games, you can't fall asleep. You know, those are the games where Shaka Smart has to tell his guys, listen, we're, we're playing Marquette basketball. We're, we're not playing, you know, you look at teams that are below 500 in conference play. You just can't look at the records if you're a player. You have to take each game, and each game has to be the most important game you play. The one that's in front of you is the most important game you play all season. Shaka Smart is just the coolest guy in the room at all times. <laughs> I think a lot of guys just fall in love with him, want to play for him. He's seven for seven from the field. 14 points in 18 minutes for the transfer for Oklahoma. Elliott pokes it out of.
of bounds. One of those deflections that Shaka Smart believes in. And the pass had to be a little bit higher because of the ball pressure, the, the extended arms of the defender, and Kweth went up and got that. Wow. We've seen some nice lobs thrown in today's game. Wow. How did that not go in for Harris? Another rebound for Muhammad, and he missed the follow. Wow. Again, Eric, that, that's the difference. You know, you don't see missed layups in the NBA because it means two points at the other end every time. In college, so many missed layups really start to determine the outcome of games. I'll tell you something. Amina Muhammad, I've learned a lot about him tonight. He is 3 for 16 shooting the basketball, but his effort level has never waned. He has got the most rebounds in this game by a huge amount. He's got 15 rebounds in 31 minutes on a day when he's shooting 3 for 16 and could by all rights just hang his head. Quet this foul. All right, this will be the test. Kerr Quet has been perfect. All night long, seven times the ball has left his hand, and all seven times it's gone through that circle. Now he's got two free throws coming. He's only a 54% free throw shooter. Can he keep perfection alive? I think he can. Well, Eric, zero footers are much <laughs> easier. Well, no one's guarding him here. The two, I mean. <laughs> Play a lot of basketball, man. He's got guts. He can knock yeah. it down. Ten That's feet, what I'm talking about. Feet. That's what I'm talking about. Eight I times the ball has left his fingertips, and yeah. all eight times it has gone through the cup. I, I, I don't want him to miss. I'm just saying, analytically speaking, zero footers are much easier. Get in there, young man. Analytics, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about analytics off the air. <laughs> no, thank you. Time, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, you're one of those, huh? <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> Foul call on Justin Lewis. Lewis leads the team with 17 points per game. May not get there tonight. He's got 13 points, but he does have the eight rebounds, a couple of block shots. Giving his usual effort. It really shows you how special Marquette can be. You know, look, you're not going to have guys who are making threes like those every single night, but you know you have a guy there who's capable. Polek can make them. Obviously, Prosper is one of those guys that gets in the lane. I mean, they have the right pieces on this Marquette team, without question. And the most important piece, in my opinion, Shaka Smart is to lead them. Gets the foul call that he wanted. He is passionate. I love this kid. You know, the, the thing you, you you worry about and you wonder about is, you know, when you think of 18, 1900 kids in the transfer portal, you know, last year, you, you just hope that being a guy like Dante Harris, Amina Muhammad, that. Those two young people can stay together and Georgetown will have something to build around because they are a special talents. Yeah, Muhammad is 6'5", 210. He's clearly uber athletic. Yeah. And Long his arms. effort jumps off the page. The passion he plays with is clear to everyone in the upper deck. So good things will happen to him sooner rather than later. Yeah. And for young players who struggle, it's more how they manage the mental part of the game and, and no second guessing and trying to work on the right things and it is more a physical. Dante Harris, another talented, talented young player. We'll slow things down, wait for his mates. Kyla Golick has 10 assists to go with six points. Free throw jumper Lewis. Georgetown still holding on hope for a miracle. And the clock 
will stop and we'll have free throws coming for Tyler Beard. So Beard to the line for two free throws when we come back to the Cream City. Speed Weeks is finally here. Let's do it. All eyes are on this racetrack. Great, great, great. This is Daytona. Speed Weeks continues with the duel at Daytona tomorrow at 7 Eastern on FS1. And don't miss the Daytona 500 this Sunday on Fox. Showtime at Daytona. Here they come. The Daytona 500, Sunday at 2.30 Eastern on Fox. I have moderate to severe ulcerative colitis, so I'm taking Zaposia, a once daily pill, because I won't let UC stop me from being me. Zaposia can help people with UC achieve and maintain remission, and it's the first and only S1P receptor modulator approved for UC. Don't take Zaposia if you've had a heart attack, chest pain, stroke, or mini stroke, heart failure in the last six months, irregular or abnormal heartbeat not corrected by a pacemaker, if you have untreated severe breathing problems during your sleep, or if you take medicines called MAOIs. Zaposia may cause serious side effects, including infections that can be life threatening and cause death, slow heart rate, liver or breathing problems, increased blood pressure, macular edema, and swelling and narrowing of the brain's blood vessels. Though unlikely, a risk of PML, a rare, serious, potentially fatal brain infection, cannot be ruled out. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, medications, or if you are or plan to become pregnant. If you can become pregnant, use birth control during treatment and for three months after you stop taking Symposia. Don't let UC stop you from doing you. Ask your doctor about Once Daily Symposia. take on the 13th ranked team in the country the UCLA Bruins in a late night thriller and all tips off tomorrow night at 11 Eastern time where else would you be folks 8 o'clock Pacific time that's going to be at FS1 and the Fox Sports app happy days are here again in Milwaukee they are loving life with Shaka Smart working that sideline Dr. Smart, six years VCU, six years in Texas, and now coming home, he is a native of Wisconsin. From Madison, now doing magic in Milwaukee. We've got free throws here. Tyler Beard, Chicago native, Whitney Young, the Dolphins. Two free throws, and that's the first miss at the line tonight for the Hoyas. First time they missed a free throw. They had been 12 for 12. Marquette still needs to be slightly careful. Yeah, this game's not over. 15-point game, and with the pressure put on by Georgetown, Marquette has to call a timeout. We'll keep it here with Donnie Marshall. I'm Eric Collins. Yeah, I think Georgetown understands. You know, that they've done this a lot in their recent losses. In the last six, seven minutes have put that full court pressure on. And they've dug back into some games, Eric. They just, they run out of time, maybe run out of a, a little bit of gas. It's definitely potent late. There's the uh, losing streak for Georgetown, 14 in a row. And that's, uh, that's really got to hurt Patrick Ewing, who has got so much pride, so much competitiveness. Personal story about Patrick Ewing. Uh, Patrick Ewing and I used to run in the same circles. And I remember one year I wanted to introduce him to two of my friends. And I said, Patrick, I'd love it if you say hi to my friends. Here's Andrew and Brock. He goes, oh, Andrew Brock, nice to meet you. A year later, a year later, we were in the exact same city, and Patrick saw me talking to Andrew and Brock once again, walked over and said, Andrew, Brock, good to see you again. He remembered their names 12 months wow. later. 
That's that guy's memory in his brain. It was just incredible. I've never seen anyone else do something like that. The way that he was able to retain that information for a year with really no connection at all. Well, I will say it's not just his shot blocking ability and his greatness as a player being all a favor that makes people want to root for him. It's, it's stories like that that make you want to root for a guy like Patrick Ewing. Oh my goodness, he was the most impressive person in the building, in a building full of NBA players, but he's the only Patrick Ewing, and for him to take the time and have the wherewithal to remember two names of absolute strangers, to me that spoke volumes. Big fan. All right, 318 remaining in our ball game. Justin Lewis is foul. Marquette's not the bonus, so they'll take it out of bounds. Kolek! They were supposed to look like Iverson the way he got up to that rebound. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you, glimpses of that with him last year, especially. There you go. Holloway, a three ball. Your time at the Big East coincided with Iverson, am I correct? Yeah, just a year. Yeah. But it was special. And a year with Iverson and a year with Alonzo Mourning. Wow. How about that? Yeah. of the bonus free throws coming for Holloway. It'll give us a chance to look oh. at Mr. Prosper. Eric, now we know there are games where the three-pointer really is the proverbial nail in the coffin, but I, I think this <laughs> talk right here has to be I mean, that's, that's the nation mark. Mm. Omax. Seven point yeah. six rebounds, twenty-two minutes. Well, winning is about having the right pieces, not just a couple of superstars or one. For any major team, any any team in Division One basketball, and probably any any team in basketball for that matter. But when you have the right pieces, like Marquette does, that's what gives them that sense of hey, we can be something. We can, you know, we can cause some damage in Big East tournament play. We can. Get to the NCAA tournament, do some damage, and that guy right there is not only a, a wonderful X's and O guy. I think more importantly, and what makes him most special is he's just a wonderful leader of young men. You know, he teaches the right message, even when they're not winning. His message is still getting through to them, and he's got the right pieces, got the right guys. He could go hand pick certain guys that he wanted on this team to, for his first year here at Marquette. He's done a wonderful job. Can't say it enough. Oh, people who follow the NBA know the type of talent that he was able to recruit down to Austin, Texas. Good job. Five-star seven-footer after five-star seven-footer. Now, they never really put it all together for an extended period of time. But they got talent. And that talent's eventually going to come to Milwaukee, too, because people want to play for Shaka Smart. Yeah. People want to be just close to Shaka Smart. He's that type of human being. Lewis. Georgetown still with a faint pulse. Harris. Yeah. How many of those air balls have we seen, whether they're rushed and, and wide open? Just a tough, tough shooting night for Georgetown. Georgetown's 29% shooting in the ball game. Iguodaro, man, that's how he shoots 72% from the field. <laughs> really what's kept Georgetown in this game, and they're within 14, has been their free throw shooting. The Hoyas are 15 for 16 at the line. They've taken nine more free throws than Marquette has. How about the pass from Kolek? And, and this is what makes this pass happen, obviously, you gotta have talent, but the lack of ball pressure, no hands up, 
Seen a lot of those tonight. Georgetown hands have been down. So no tracing of the ball. Just those little things can make the difference. Mohammed had a tough shoot at night. Three for 18 shooting the basketball. Does have 17 rebounds. Donald Carey has one given up. 11 point game. Closest Georgetown's been in a long time. If Georgetown chooses to foul, it would put Marquette into the bonus, but it looks like they won't. What a wonderfully played game by Marquette. Start to finish, you talked about it early in this game, Eric. It was a, it was a game of the three-point shooting. And Jones really opened it up going into halftime, and Marquette kept their foot on gas in the second half. Oh, Muhammad. <laughs> it's been that type of night. I'm telling you, young man, there will be better days. You are too talented to have another night like this. Muhammad's going to finish three for 19 shooting the basketball, even though he was influential in the way this game was played in a positive manner for Georgetown. Got to remember these days, though, Eric, these are the games that make you great. Never want to feel those feelings again. And that'll do it. On a Wednesday evening in Milwaukee, Shaka Smart and the Marquette Golden Eagles, they win by 11. Donnie Marshall, your final thoughts? Yeah, just a well-played game by Marquette. Georgetown continuing to struggle. You feel for them, but terrific game.